Hello everyone, my name is Roland Faure and I'm going to present to you the work I've been doing during my PhD in France and in Belgium about separating strains in metagenomic long read assemblies. So if you look up microbiome on Google Scholar, which is what I did, you will find many great articles and uh, it's a very active field many discoveries that are coming up soon. But for now, almost all of the studies, and I took a few screenshots here of the first one I found in Google Scholar, have a common shortcoming. And this limitation is that they study the microbiome at a species level. And some of them study the interaction between species, the keystone species, metabolism of species, but none of them, or none I found anyway, go down to the strain level. And this is a shame because there's two strains in, a, in a, the same of the same species can be quite different in terms of a phenotype. And so I'm not the only one to say this. And uh, in some reviews, uh, you can find also that today, and huge knowledge gaps remain in our understanding of microbiomes, and it lies in the strain diversity that can be found in a microbiome. And so the work of my PhD, you guessed it, is to try to go down to this strain level to improve our understanding of microbiomes. More specifically, I'm working on genome assembly. And assembling different strains of the same species is difficult. It is very difficult because uh, the DNA of the different strains look very much alike, and the assembler discard the small divergence between the strains as sequencing errors. And the sequencer very often only output one DNA sequence corresponding to uh, chimeric assembly of several strains of the same species. So assembling different strains is challenging, and this is made even more challenging by the fact that there is no way to know, generally, the number of strains that are present in a sample. And there is very often an uneven coverage between the strains. Some strains are more rare, while some strains are more abundant. And this makes assembly difficult, and this is why one of the reasons, at least, that microbiomes are studied only at species level. It's because we are struggling when assembling to obtain the sequence of different strains, and generally we obtain the sequence of only a species. So there is a little bit of state of the art uh, concerning uh, strain separated assemblies using long reads. But they are still quite unsatisfactory for complex metagenomes, and so the work of my PhD is to build, um, to create this method, has splitter, that recovers from a draft assembly and long reads that recovers the diversity between the strains and produces a new assembly, a new strain separated assembly. And the name of the method comes from the fact that a hair splitter person is someone who makes very fine distinction in reasoning. And the hair splitter method is a method that makes very fine distinction in assembly. So I'm not going to explain all the details of the method now. And I will just give you the gist of it. And so just to tease you about the method, the key idea of the method is to introduce a custom variant calling step where only very robust variants are called. And so there is a procedure to call only variants that we are very, very sure of. And this is really what, uh, and once the variants are called, it's, um, it's not too difficult to separate the strains. 
just to tease you a little bit on the results too of the method. So the method has been implemented in a software. And uh, this software really outperforms the state of the art on, several, on the several cases we tested concerning the recovery of, of collapsed strains. And this is just an example of a published uh, five Vagococcus fovilis strain mix that we managed to, uh, to, in which we managed to separate the strains very well. And uh, if you're curious about that and you want to know more, we can see each other around my poster and especially on Tuesday the 25th uh, between 6 and 7. I will be giving a flash, co a flash talk at a microbiome cozy uh, on Tuesday the 25th at 3 p.m. And if you're curious to try it out, there is an available prototype on GitHub and just you can go and use it, and please feel f you are very welcome to provide any feedback. So thank you very much, and uh, I hope to see you soon.